Hey guys, my name is Tony and welcome to my channel. And welcome to another episode of Taking This and Making That. And that is a satisfying thing to say, even if I have to say so myself. And the mission for this week, guys, is putting this bonnet onto that car and that's it. And once again, I have found that it is definitely something that sounds much simpler than it's going to be to do. Well, for me at least. Because making these hinges and aligning everything basically in the air because there is nothing there that suggests exactly where the hinges must go and so on really does make it complicated and also making sure that this bonnet aligns both left and right up and down front to rear side to side and so on really does present a set of challenges that i'm probably gonna have to face but the lowdown is that i'm gonna have to make a set of hinges more or less where the original car's hinges was and then make these bulkheads in this bonnet that's going to connect to those hinges and then just make sure that everything lines up perfectly so my plan of attack is going to be putting this bonnet into position as closely as i possibly can and then start measuring exactly where the hinges needs to go and start fabricating a set of hinges that looks like the original car and also functions in such a manner that this bonnet will be able to open and close many many times without it wearing out and then after i've made those hinges or that's my idea it might change i will then move towards making these bulkheads inside this bonnet that's going to connect to those hinges and then basically put everything together and start trying to see if i can get this bonnet to sit where it needs to same as at the rear so let me start with the hinges and then we can well let me first start by putting this bonnet onto the car doing a couple of measurements and then see how i'm going to fabricate those hinges and then we'll take it from there Hey guys time for an update i've now made a set of hinges and they are working very very well and they are super sturdy and also adjustable so you can adjust them left to right and forwards and backwards with a little bit of what with some washers just to shimmy them forward and backward if necessary and you can adjust them to the left and the right by just putting a couple of washers in between there but they're nice and strong and i've also drilled a set of holes in both sides where the bulkhead's going to get riveted onto it so i think that's going to be very very nice and strong now the next thing i'm going to do is put the bonnet back on again and then i'm going to start and see how i'm going to fabricate the bulkhead that needs to go there and maybe make one of those and then we can start riveting or mounting the bonnet to those hinges and hopefully things will start looking like something very soon
Alrighty guys, another week and another milestone achieved. This bonnet is now fixed to the car and it is on its own hinges which are working very very well and I like it a lot. They are very much adjustable so you can adjust them forwards and backwards and side to side and so on which is awesome but it is looking very very good. I did not finish these bulkheads that goes all the way to the back that needs to enclose the wheels from the engine because there's still a lot of planishing that needs to be done on the inside of this bonnet as you probably can see to make it nice and smooth and if I put those uh, bulkheads in I'm going to struggle to reach the spots that I want so I'll only be putting them in after I finish this bonnet and I'm happy and satisfied with that but that's going to happen at another stage and also there needs to be a little bit of a, uh, a mesh that goes in there in the front and also an intake that goes all the way to the carburetors that needs to go onto this bonnet but I'm going to do that on a next video but apart from that guys it is fitting nicely it is once again uh, I learned a lot from doing the rear section so the front was easier and I got better results and I probably don't have to say that every single time but there is still a lot of work that needs to be done on this bonnet and on the rear section to, for it to be finished but at least I'm very very happy with this week's progress and in the next video we're probably going to start working on these wheel arches front and rear and then start finishing off these panels so that they can fit absolutely perfectly to the car so I hope to see you guys next week cheers <laughs>